what's up y'all it's your girl john a loves and i'm back with another video so today 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 i am doing a cooking video duh i already said that but anyway so today i'm making beef stew and the things that you will need you will need stew meat of your choice um you can buy already packaged stew, stew meat that is not seasoned so um, it's really just your preference on what you want um, to use. So I buy the non-seasoned stew meat. I'm pretty sure you can buy seasoned stew meat, but I don't. I like to season my own stuff. You're also going to need some beef broth. You're probably going to need about half a cup of water, depending on how much beef broth that you use. Um, you're going to need, this is just my seasonings. You guys, use what you want to use for your seasonings. I do pre-season um, my meat with my own seasoning. So I'm going to use garlic salt, <clears throat> parsley, seasoned salt, a little bit of Italian seasoning, and that's about pepper. And that's about it. Simple. Um, now, I got the great value kind and if you don't use all of this you guys you can freeze it okay um but anyway you're also going to need a onion which i have right here you're going to need celery carrots potatoes now i'm going to peel my potatoes and i'm going to um, chop off my onions. You want everything kind of like soft. So it kind of like melts in your mouth. This is the consistency that you're trying to get is the consistency of it like just melting in your mouth. Now there's two ways that you can eat this beef stew. You can eat it over rice or you can eat it as a soup. Me, I can't have rice because I'm on a diet. So I'm just going to eat it as a soup and I'll just drink the juice and use it as the soup base right so what I'm gonna show you here is I'm gonna show you the stew meat I'm gonna show you how I season it and all of that so if you want to see how I make my beef stew um, stay tuned and then I'm gonna add some parsley I just like the flavor of parsley. Um, you don't have to use it. Like I said, you season to what you like. And we're not going to add too much seasoned salt. I mean, garlic salt. We're going to add a little, a little bit of seasoned salt. We're going to go with some Italian seasonings. Italian seasoning. I just like the flavor of, like, the Italian seasoning. And then we're going to go in with black pepper. I need to get a new thing of pepper. Okay. So what I'm going to do, my hands are already washed, but I'm going to try and mix this up the best that I can. Yes, there's a lot of meat in here. I have a lot of broth, you guys. Okay. Um, I want this to be like a thick, like if the kids choose to have it over rice or they choose to have it as a soup. I want it to be enough meat. And what I do is usually I will cut these, but because they're frozen, I have not cut these yet. I'm going to start with one cup of water. Okay. That was one cup of water. I forgot to show you guys. And then here's your beef broth. You guys can use whatever broth you want, but I use beef because I love the flavor of beef broth. And you want a lot of broth because you don't want dry beef, okay? You don't want a dry um, stew. So, from there, what I'm going to do is I'm going to already crock pot you guys is that... You just throw the stuff in there and let the crock pot do the work. You don't have to do anything. So I'm going to power my crock pot on. I'm going to go for high and I'm going to do, it's 11 o'clock right now. So I might do it, let's go to low. And we're going to do it for about 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 
for about seven hours. I'll give it seven hours. I don't know if you guys can see that, but I have it programmed to seven hours. And that's it. Like, once you do that, it's just going to start cooking on low. So let's come over here. And the thing about stew is you want things big. You don't want things small. You guys, clean as you go. A clean kitchen is a happy house. You hear me? A very happy house. This goes over here. This goes over here. And then, so you want everything big, you guys. You don't want small pieces of onion throughout it. That way, if somebody doesn't prefer onion, they can take the onion out. But truthfully, I don't even think they're going to realize it's in there. And my kids are picky. So, yeah. I don't think they're going to realize that it's in there. I don't make... So, this is about the size that you want. Jesus Christ. And then, I just pull them apart because, you know... I just pull them apart. Oh my gosh, I'm crying. Your girl is crying. So we're just going to go right back over here, you guys. Let me pull this forward so you guys can see it. And it's already warm, you guys. I could actually feel it. So just going to break these up. Sorry if you guys can't. That beef broth already smells like amazing. Ooh, we don't start peeling my potatoes. I'm not going to actually show you guys that um, because we'll be here all day. And I'm already at 10 minutes, and I don't want this to be a long video, but I don't know. It might end up being a long video. I don't know. I'm trying to cut it to, like, 15 minutes. So, let me peel these potatoes. Let me, um, once I peel them, I'll show you how I dice them, and then I'll throw them in here. Yes, I throw my potatoes in while it is cooking because I want my potatoes, like, super soft. I don't want them, like, you know, kind of, like, in between. I want them super soft. So... But I'll see you guys in the next clip. Okay, y'all. I'm back and I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 potatoes. And this is just how I'm going to chop them. Your potatoes, you chop them big or small. Y'all know my goal. I'm going for big. So... Plus, I want it to be um, more big because Marshawn will be eating this. And I'll probably just give him the stew part. and Well, the meat and the potatoes and vegetables and stuff like that. And um, because they're going to be soft, they're going to be kind of harder for him to pick up if they're a little bit smaller. So... So, let's bring you guys back in here. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh. Y'all already know it's getting warm because my lid. So, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to slide these bad boys up in there. Slide them up on in there. Slide them up on in there. There we go. I'm going to get my spoon. Get my spoon and I'm gonna mix this thing around. Y'all, look at this. This is gonna be good. And then all I gotta do is add the vegetables. The rest, look, it's already, my meat is already getting soft. But look at that. Oh, this is gonna be good. And I don't serve dinner until about six, between like 6 30 and 7, I'm trying to get dinner done but this meat was frozen it's warmed up to where i can actually break it apart now look y'all want some stew i got you <laughs> but keep watching you all because i'm gonna go from this to finished okay i am gonna show you the carrots and all that stuff i'm just gonna do baby carrots i'm gonna go get some baby carrots and I'm going to do some celery and chop the celery up. I'll show you when I add the celery. But look at that. Don't that look good? OMG, look at that. That's going to be good, you guys. That, mm, all those all those smells. I mean, all them flavors like simmering together, cooking together. Yes. I'm for it. 
So stay tuned, you guys, and we'll be back. So. Okay, you all. So I just got back from the store, and we're going to mix this stuff up. Look at this, y'all. Ooh! Look at that. Look how tender and, oh my God, juicy this looks, okay? Now, if you wanted to make a gravy, you could take some of this juice and you could do that. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a couple of these. I'm going to take a handful of these carrots. I'm going to rinse them off a little bit. Even though they've already been rinsed, I still want to rinse them off. And then I'm just going to place them in there like that. I am vlog. I'm vlogging, but then I'm also um, on live right now, you guys. So, just gonna throw some of these carrots in there. Yes, carrots. Some carrots. Some carrots. Marshawn. Okay, so I got the carrots in there, y'all. And I'm going to let those simmer in here for about an hour. Because it's not time for us to eat dinner yet. But then I'm going to cut these. Um, I'm going to. Dang. I'm going to cut these up. Where's my knife? They sliced and big. Plus, I want them to cook in the next hour, so. Yeah. Throw some of those in there. Wait to eat this, y'all. <laughs> and put the top on. So I'm gonna look at that, y'all. Like just scooping it out, like oh my god, on your plate. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. This is gonna be amazing. Like I said, you guys, you guys know I love chunky soups. So when it's done, I will be back. And when it's bold and put in the bowls with um everybody's stuff, their preference, then I will be back and show you guys the finished product. Okay, you all. So I am done with the um, beef stew I just gave everybody like it was a soup like beef soup so nobody's complaining about it uh, they all eating it they say it tastes good they like the carrots in it they eating the celery Tinka is even eating it Marshawn is eating it so I'm gonna show y'all um, what it looks like um, now you can add flour to this and it'll make like a broth I'm not a broth, uh, like a gravy, if you want to. Um, so, I might just add some uh, flour to it tomorrow and then make make it in the, um, put it in the oven for a little bit. And then it'll be, it'll be scrumptious tomorrow too, for leftovers. Um, also, so I'm going to say this. Thank you guys for watching and give this video a thumbs up if you haven't already. Also, if you are new here and you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button and turn on your post notification bells. Um, and I'll see you guys with another video. The next video that you'll see is a baking video and review. So have a nice day. Bye.